Next guy was really one of my favorite players to look at in the pre-draft process. If you're new to my channel or never heard me say it before, this is really the first draft that I tried to evaluate 50, 60 players, watch film of, uh, buy a bunch of external hard drives to fit all the film onto, and then organize the, the film in a way that I could try to present to people or at least talk about it in, in video format. Kayvon Thibodeau, I thought, was uh, unfairly kind of put in a little box and, and talked about in the pre-draft process, and I think he's playing pissed off as a, as a result. And good for him. I hope he holds on to that. Anger is a gift in a lot of cases. Uh, can be a pure, a pure motivation to try to prove people wrong. And I hope Kayvon Thibodeau, he's 21 years old. I mean, he's 21 years old playing in New York, one of the biggest markets in the world. Uh, six and one football team at this point. And he's made a lot of plays. Only has 14 tackles, 10 solos, you know, doesn't have any tackles for loss, according to the stat sheet. Two quarterback hits, one sack, the big force fumble on Lamar, and then has a fumble recovered, which I'll show you here against the Bears. I think he's playing better than the stats indicate. Uh, let's check out some of the film so you can see it for yourself. He's going to be spot shadowed before most of these plays. Do I think he's the best edge defender as a rookie in the in the league this year? Well, no. I mean, I, I, to be honest with you, I probably would have him behind Trayvon Walker. But I think he has just as much potential as Walker or Aiden Hutchison. I think he presents matchup problems. Like, for example, here, you know, I'm a Ravens fan, but this is a matchup problem for the Ravens. Patrick McCarry going against Kayvon Thibodeau. It's my opinion that a lot of these pass rush situations where a guy doesn't win the initial engagement, the player who normally wins the second or third engagement in terms of the hand fight, in terms of the move that's being run, is just a better athlete. It's also about technique, but Kayvon Thibodeau is just a better athlete than Patrick McCarry here. Once he gets the second push on McCarry, he's able to maintain his balance and continue pressing forward. McCarry's just not athletic enough to deal with him. Is that always going to be the case for Kayvon Thibodeau? Well, well no. He's an edge rusher, right? He's an outside linebacker. He's a very versatile one, too. That's the one thing that strikes me about him. You know, Trayvon Walker is versatile. He's being asked to do multiple things for the Jags. Aiden Hutchinson, in my opinion, is a little less versatile in terms of the total number of techniques that he can demonstrate in a per-game basis. To me, Kayvon Thibodeau is the most versatile guy. I loved his pass drops at Oregon uh, during his last year. I really thought that he was a guy who had unique awareness when he was asked to cover in zones, particularly to the boundary. Great pass rush motor, great motor against the run, takes on blocks well. And then, oh, by the way, like he has a knack for knocking passes out of the air when he's not going to win, you know, the pa when he's not going to get to the quarterback before the ball was thrown. I think I've got him at three this year. I don't know what the stats, you know, are that I just read out to you. I don't think I referred to him. But to be honest with you, this is something that all the Giants seem to be doing, but I thought I noticed it in his game last year at Oregon as well, although he didn't have as many situations where he just wasn't winning the pass rush, you know, duel between him and the tackle. Unblocked here against the Bears, a clear, you know, pass deflection. These are the types of things that happen, and then you, your teammates can get an interception. That one almost looks like a pick six if the ball ends up higher. I think he's a big part of what the Giants are doing on defense. I really do. When Ojolari is out, he's just clearly their best edge defender in terms of athleticism, in terms of explosiveness. You saw the way that he finished that fourth quarter force fumble on Lamar with the strip sack. Another tipped pass against Aaron Rodgers. I believe this was third down, almost intercepted, like I said. The very next play, he's on the other side. Aaron Rodgers kind of throws it away, throws to the other side of the formation, and it's also tipped by one of his teammates. You can see there's a D tackle here who's kind of switched rush, and he's also got his hands up. Seems to be something the Giants are focused on. It's a high, it's an indication of high effort, and it kind of goes against some of the things that were said about Kayvon Thibodeau during the pre-draft process, or kind of some of the things that were whispered about, at least. All right, this is a sick play. He's the read man in the Ravens' QB power read play, all right? So if you're unfamiliar with it, the running back is going to cross Lamar's face and he's going to go parallel to the line of scrimmage. So he's running towards the sideline. After the mesh, whether Lamar keeps it or not, he's going to run off tackle. That line's actually kind of, you know, it's kind of like this, off tackle, because you're getting all down blocks by these guys, all right? And Kayvon Thibodeau is the read man. So normally as a read man, you're, you know, you're either going to get upfield and take away the running back and, and the Ravens are gashing people when they do that because Lamar's just keeping it and running off tackle. Or you're going to step down, force a give read to the running back, 
and then the running back's got the edge and somebody, a strong safety or a linebacker's got to fold over the top. Not if it's Kayvon Thibodeau. Kayvon Thibodeau forces a give read by Lamar by stepping down. Then, once J.K. Dobbins gets it, you know, should Dobbins maybe continue running to the sideline? Yes, I think he probably should. But point is, Kayvon Thibodeau is athletic enough and then strong enough to finish the tackle in a manner that keeps J.K. Dobbins to a four-yard gain. That's not normal. That's that's not the way I know this. I'm a Ravens fan. I've seen this play run this year. It's gashing people. It gashed the Giants when it wasn't run against Kayvon Thibodeau. And actually, he did have one rep where he went upfield. Lamar kept it and then and then you know gained like 11 yards down by the 15-yard line, 16-yard line. In this case, he forces a give read, has the athleticism. Watch his hips. Hips are square. Then they're pointed to the sideline. Then they're pointed almost in the exact opposite direction when J.K. Dobbins tries to cut it back. That's elite athleticism. That's that's elite among the elite, which is NFL athletes. That's a rare quality, if you ask me, especially to be able to do that against an athlete the caliber of J.K. Dobbins. All right, a really random play. You can see at the beginning of it, inside linebacker is kind of giving him directions, moving him out to the sideline. My guess is there's three receivers out there, so he's trying to get him adjusted. Kevon Thibodeau ends up back appearing in the middle of the screen. Like I said, he's playing pissed off. He's not just playing to play. There were some indications last year. People were saying, you know, he didn't play hard. He didn't give great effort. Whatever they're doing in New York is working for the whole team, and it's certainly working for Kayvon Thibodeau because now he's hustled back into the middle of the field. And I just love the finish. Not scared. A lot of people are scared to hit the quarterback outside the pocket. Not Kayvon Thibodeau. He knocked the shit out of Justin Fields there. I think he's a great player. I don't think he's just a very good player. I think he's a great player. In my opinion, he belongs in the same conversation with Aiden Hutchison and Trayvon Walker. You can rank them how you wish. I would take either one on my team. Like, you put them all three in a hat in terms of their choices, I'll take any of them. I just love – he was the only guy that could threaten Ronnie Stanley in this game, really. Ronnie Stanley had his way with pretty much everybody else against the Giants that game in Week 6. He's trying to set Ronnie Stanley inside. You can see him peeking. He's trying to peek over Stanley's right shoulder. Huge hole. I mean, huge lane. Look at all the seal that the Ravens have here. And if Kayvon Thibodeau isn't able to dive back inside, this is a huge lane for K- Kenyon Drake, you know, cutting it back outside here. I think he's a guy who makes plays that are not there, meaning if something looks like it could be an 8- or 10-yard gain like that play, Kayvon Thibodeau can make the play and have it be a four-yard gain or even a three-yard gain. Here's an example of a split zone concept. We all saw the play in the preseason when he got cut. Pretty nasty. This one, tight end. I mean, look at the tight end's face mask. Tight end's looking across the formation. Kind of a dead giveaway. Tries to go low. Kayvon Thibodeau, perfect. Just like the ball that you use. You know, he, he gets his hips back, hands down and forward and eyes up. Looking for the football, folds back inside. He's not supposed to be there. He's supposed to be getting cut by this tight end or at least kicked out. Kayvon Thibodeau, in, if you ask me, is playing at a much higher level than he's getting credit for. And I'm a big fan, obviously, if, you, if you're listening to, to the audio at all. So here he is, RPO by the Packers. The tight end is going to release outside of him. So he's got flow here, and he's got motion going this way. Simultaneous to that, you got the running back crossing Aaron Rodgers' face. A lot of eye candy for him. Doesn't matter. He can fold inside and he explodes on tackles. Like he just, just doesn't tackle people and gently get them to the ground. There's an explosion because he's got powerful hips. He's a very athletic guy. I love this. This is probably my favorite play of his. Now I'm a Ravens fan, but I have to admit, you know, it was a great strip sack that he had of Lamar. But look at all the action you've got. Tight end releasing outside. Motion here, running back cross and face. Oh, by the way, you could have Aaron Rodgers keep this football and then throw it outside to the flats. Kayvon Thibodeau, go slow until you know, or whatever phrase you want to use. Now he sees the ball handed off, takes off. Yeah, it's like a four or five yard gain. Kayvon Thibodeau, if you ask me, closes gaps that look larger when other people are on the field, even other people for the Giants. They're 6-1, and one, playing well. I think Kayvon Thibodeau is a bigger piece of it than the stats show. And I'm trying to show you film illustrating that. Using mostly end zone angle film, 
You know, would I take him over Trayvon Walker? Would I take him over Aiden Hutchinson? I don't know, man. If you want to have those kind of conversations, like find another channel. The guy's a hell of a football player. He deals with tackles well. I have four examples of it. This is the one that I'm showing you. He doesn't get, you know, expanded here, meaning he doesn't get so far expanded that the gap inside of him ends up being large enough, and that's why the ball is turned back inside here. Because Kayvon Thibodeau is strong enough playing with a low pad level to turn it back inside. I think it ends up, ends up being a four-yard game. You guys, let me know what you think of Kayvon Thibodeau. If you think that he's uh, playing at as high a level as I believe he is, he is, even though the stats are not overwhelming. Of course, he did miss three games. He's the edge defender on the right. Pass play, not getting there. But Ojulari is beating his guy with like a classic little just rip under. Forces the fumble. Kayvon Thibodeau recovers it. You know, stats aren't always an, a pure indication of how someone's playing. I don't pay attention to PFF grades. I just don't have time. I try to like, I try to make my evaluation be just based on the film that I watch. In this case, I had 54 plays of Kayvon Thibodeau, 53, 54 plays. And I tried to cut them down to these 12 or 14 that I thought were representative of the plays that I saw. You know, I'm not going to rank him above or below Hutchinson or Walker. I'm going to put them on the same level. You know, I will make my choice after the uh, the last portion of this video. If you enjoyed my breakdown of Kayvon Thibodeau, if you think I missed some elements or some key plays, it's entirely possible. I did not include Week 7 film in this because I completed the audio uh, Monday in order to publish this on Tuesday morning. Appreciate you guys leaving a comment, um, if you're a Giants fan or whatever, on what you think of Kayvon Thibodeau and how accurate you think my breakdown was of his play so far in his rookie year.